Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2020, paper one. This is the solution video for question seven. So question seven is a sequences and series question. Um, a number of the form one plus two plus three plus n is sometimes called a triangular number because it can be represented as an equilateral triangle. The diagram below shows the first three terms in the sequence of triangular numbers. Here we have uh, t is equal to 1, uh, t2 is 1 plus 2, which is 3, t3, 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6. Complete the table below to list the next five triangular numbers. So basically, um, you just add on the next integer, um, or the next natural number even, each time. So it would be 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus uh, 6 is 21, 21 plus 7 is 28, and 28 plus 8 is 36. Part 2 then says, the nth triangular number can be found directly using the formula Tn is equal to n by n plus 1 over 2. Is 1275 a triangular number? And give a reason for your answer. Okay, so for this, what we would do is we would let Tn equal to 1275. So 1275 is equal to n by n plus 1 over 2. So we can multiply across by 2 and then multiply out this here and we're trying to solve for n. So multiplying by 2 you get 2550 and then multiplying out here we get n squared plus n. So then we get a little quadratic equation we get um, n squared plus n is equal or minus sorry minus 2550 is equal to zero. So then factorize that factors of uh, minus 2550 that add together to give you one or 50 and 51. So that's n plus 51 and n minus 50 is equal to zero. So n is equal to minus 51 and n is equal to minus, is equal to plus 50. So they're only natural numbers that were taken here. So the answer is plus 50, not minus 51. So it is a triangular number because it is the 50th triangular number. Um, so we can say answer is yes and reason um, t of 50 is equal to 1, 2, 7, 5. Part B then. The n plus 1 triangular number can be written as tn plus 1 is equal to tn plus n plus 1, where n is a natural number. Write the expression n by n plus 1 over 2 plus n plus 1 as a single fraction in its simplest form. So for this, we just need to put this over two. So it'll be n by n plus one over two plus two times n plus one over two. Then we can write them as a single fraction. So that's n by n plus one plus two by n plus one over two. And you can see that we have a common factor here of n plus 1. So simplest form would be n plus 1 times n plus 2 over 2. Part 2. Prove that the sum of any two consecu consecutive triangular numbers will always be a square number. A number in the form of k squared. So if we take any two triangular numbers, so we can take... Uh, the first triangular number, which can be written as n by n plus 1 over 2, plus a second triangular number, which is this here. We've written it like this, so we can say n plus 1 times n plus 2 over 2. Now that needs to be a square number, so that needs to be greater than or equal to 0. So I can multiply across by 2 to get n by n plus 1 plus n plus 1 times n plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. 
multiply out the brackets to get n squared plus n plus n squared. Then I'd get 2n and another n is 3n and then plus 2 greater than or equal to 0. So then I have 2n squared plus 4n plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. I can divide across by 2 to simplify n squared plus 2n plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. And then factorize this and hopefully I can get factors that um, are the same and I can, it's n plus 1 by n plus 1 greater than or equal to 0. That is n plus 1 squared greater than or equal to 0. So it is true. Two consecutive triangular numbers sum to 1,200, uh, 12,544 rather. Find the smaller of these two numbers. So this here, this um, expression here is the sum of two uh, consecutive triangular numbers. So I can say the sum of two consecutive triangular numbers is equal to 12,544. I can take the square root of both sides. n plus 1 is equal to 112. Now it's plus and minus 112, but um, we're actually only going to take the positive because we're looking at positive numbers. So n plus 1 is equal to 112. n is equal to 112 minus 1, which is 111. So then to find the first number, uh, it's simply going to be n by n plus 1 over 2, which is 111 times 112 over 2. And if we just go to our calculator there, that is 111 times 112 divided by 2 is equal to 6,216. So the smaller of the two numbers is 6,216. And part C, some numbers are both triangular and square. For example, 36, uh, Leonard Euler, 1778, discovered the following formula for these numbers. This is Euler's formula. N of K is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 to the power K minus 3 minus 2 root 2 to the power K over 4 root 2, all squared. Where N K is the kth number that is both triangular and square. Use Euler's formula to find n3. All we have to do for this is sub in 3. So the n of 3 is equal to 3 plus 2 root 2 to the power of 3 minus 3 minus 2 root 2 to the power of 3 all over 4 root 2 to the power of 2. And pop that into your calculator. You'll get n3 is equal to 1,225. Part D then, the final part for this question is our proof by induction. So prove using induction that for all n an element of n, the sum of the first n square numbers can be found using the formula 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared up to n squared is equal to this here. So step one on a proof by induction is prove uh, true for n equal to 1. So that would be 1 squared is equal to 1 times 1, one plus 1 times 2 times 1 plus 1 over 6. So that's 1 squared is equal to uh, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, so that's 2 by 3 is 6, so it's actually 6 over 6, so that's 1 is equal to 1. So that is true for n equal to 1. Then 2, we assume true for n equal to k, so that would be 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus up to k squared is equal to k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 over 6. So that's our assumption that we make. And then step 3 
is proved true for n equal to k plus 1. So that would be 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus k squared plus k plus 1 squared. And that should be equal to k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1 times 2k plus 1 plus 1 over 6. So now we have to work on this here to get both sides equal to each other to make it true. So the first thing is that this bit here is this. So 1 up to k is this here. So I can replace that. I can say k by k plus 1 by 2k plus 1 over 6 plus k plus 1 squared is equal to this side here. Um, I could just tidy up a little bit. Uh, that'd be k plus 1 times k plus 2. And then here I have 2k plus 2 um, plus another 1. So it's 2k plus 3 over 6. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write this uh, over 6 so that I can um, write them as a single fraction. So I'm going to put that over 6 and then I have to multiply it by 6 as well. But now I can write it as a single fraction and I'm aiming to get this side to look exactly like this side. So as a single fraction now I have k by k plus 1 by 2k plus 1 plus 6 times k plus 1 squared and that's over 6 and that's equal to the right hand side so we don't need to write that down each time. So then working through that I have a common factor here of k plus 1 so I can take that outside k plus 1 outside and then I have k times 2k plus 1 plus 6 times k plus 1 inside the brackets and of course that's over 6 and we're still trying to get that equal to the right hand side so then I can multiply out inside this large set of brackets here and um, because I have a k plus 1 already matching basically I need to get this bit to be k plus 2 times 2k plus 3 so I have k plus 1 times k times 2k is 2k squared k times 1 is k 6 times k is 6k so that's 7k and then 6 times 1 is 6 over 6 equal to the right hand side and now we have just one more step to get there so i need to factorize this and are the factors of this k plus 2 times 2k plus 3? They are. So I have k plus 1 times k plus 2 times 2k plus 3 over 6 equal to the right hand side. And we can put a tick on it there to show that it is true. And then just to finish off, we can say um, proven by induction. One squared plus two squared plus k squared or n squared rather is equal to n times n plus one times two n plus one over six. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.